Hello everybody, it is I, Inky Crow, bringing you yet another Unity tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a first person camera. Not a first person shooter, mind you. Uh, first person camera. Uh, this tutorial was requested by a friend. Uh, he needed a bit of help with uh, doing FPS uh, camera. Uh, and I'm going to provide. So, to start off, first you're going to get, I mean, as you can see here, I already have a few things done, but uh, those are for another game I'm doing. Uh, so first, you're going to get two game objects. One will be uh, the camera, which is right there. FP camera, first person camera, and you're going to get another one, which will be a capsule, which will be our player. So what you want to do is get the capsule, I mean get the FP camera and drag it to dra drag it on capsule. So uh, cam uh, FP camera is now child to capsule. It's parented to capsule and so when the capsule moves the camera moves as well. Okay so the next thing you want to do is make two scripts. Uh, by the way I'm doing this how I did it. Uh, it was just a few uh, a method I did years ago. Uh, however, there are other better ways to do this. Um, simpler or harder, I don't know. Uh, just choose whatever uh, whatever method you think it's best. But uh, I'm gonna show you how I do it. So you're gonna, you're gonna call this new script FP Player. And another one called. Hang on. Okay, you're gonna call it ver cam control. So before you start doing on any sort of coding, you drag this one onto the capsule, and you drag ver cam control to FP camera. Okay, so now that uh, you have the script set right there, the capsule is also set, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove the capsule collider and add a character controller instead. So there you go. Now you have character controller. Now let's go to open. Let's open FP Player. Uh, first, you're gonna set up a few variables. One of them will be uh, the character controller. We'll call it Player. <laughs> okay. So the next thing you want to do is make another variable up here which will determine the speed of the rotation so you're just going to put public float make a float and give it the name rotate speed x x <laughs> and you give it a value uh by the way uh if you're if you're new to, to coding altogether if you're gonna make a float, make sure that after a number you place an F, just so uh, the engine can identify it as a float variable, as a float number and not an integer. Okay. So now what you want to do is uh, use the transform uh, function, transform rotate. I, I type transform. Yay. Okay, now it's fixed. Transform, rotate. And here you're going to place the vector, vector 3, dot up. Uh, by the way, it's not forward because if you, uh, if you type forward, it's going to type like a wheel. I mean, it's going to rotate like a wheel instead. It's not going to rotate left or right, it's going to rotate like skew 
It's just, it's just gonna skew the character instead. So be careful what you type. Make sure you type up because uh, the object will rotate by the Y axis, not by the X or the Z axis. So type that, vector three, vertor three, vector three up times time dot delta time. Uh, make sure that you type this part as well because if you just leave it to vector 3 up only vector 3 up times rotate speed instead of typing instead of rotating that value per second it's just gonna rotate per frame and then it's just gonna be and if it's gonna be if it's left like uh, if it's left like that it's gonna rotate get on style and you don't want that so make sure you have the time dot delta time function in I mean variable in and you need another variable to add this up you need a little something called input not acceleration dang it <laughs> you need this in order to uh, have control over the rotation because if you just leave it in vector 3 up and rotate speed only it's just gonna rotate so you're gonna keep on spinning hence what you saw so I'm gonna assign the horizontal or should I say mouse X now I should be able to have control over the rotation now anyway uh, with all those changes, now as you can see, the camera moves left or right. However, it doesn't move up or down. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. So for this one, it's re it's pretty easy to do it. All you have to do is normally just make a public just make a float called rotate speed and just assign a rotation speed like 100 and do the same thing and just uh, do the same thing as uh, the FB character just transform dot rotate but instead of uh, tapping in vector 3 up you type vector 3 left or vector 3 right you type vector 3 right and you do pretty much the same thing just bring delta time uh, that's pretty much it you're done well not really <laughs> You still need to add the input. That axis. Uh, mouse. Y. It's pretty much the same thing. Only that it goes up or down. Oh shit. Unexpected symbol time. Oh shoot. Oh, right, I forgot. <laughs> Bloopers! Oh, shit. Anyway. Now I'm gonna... Now that all that code has been added. Now you can see the character moves the direction. Although, even though uh, the direct... The up and down direction are inverted that can always be fixed however there is one issue though you have made the character look up and down however when you keep uh, pushing the when you keep dragging the mouse down it's gonna spin so the root the uh, Y rotation has not been clipped or clamped sorry what you want to do is uh, make another public float.
So a few seconds ago, I showed you uh, the, the final product, or at least sort of the final product after this. However, uh, if you just only use Transform Rotate, sure, it's going to look up or down, but if you keep dragging the mouse down or up, it's going to spin. So the rotation is not clamped. So here I'm going to show you how to clamp the rotation. Uh, I have set uh, two additional rotate uh, variables. One is called angle limit, set, that's set to 90, and another one called current angle. Uh, this one will represent the current angle of the camera, and this will be uh, the value you want to clamp it to. So here, uh, I set current uh, current current angle, and, and I'm and I give it value first. Then you're gonna make another va uh, variable. I mean another condition. That's gonna be if cur angle is bigger or equal than angle limit cur angle is equal to angle limit that way the angle remains as it should there you go and make another one that is if cur angle is less or equal to angle limit times minus one angle is equal to angle limit times minus one And there you have it. Oh, shoot. Wait, what? All oh, right. <laughs> now you have those values set. Now you're going to set the transform rotation to be it. So it's vector 3 right times, or should I say vector 3, vector 3, uh, new vector 3. Uh, vector 3, 0, dot, per angle comma zero and there you have it I hope this works <laughs>